Hello everyone, Susu Gaming here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. Today I'm gonna review top reward of the current Operation Summer Leopard 2 AV F4D1. Uh, currently tankers are grinding the 8th star. Most of the players already playing with it, but unfortunately guys, a really bad news Gaiji nerfed event process. This already have been tested in the last three battle pass and it doesn't seem like it's going away. Before in battle pass you could have sell the top tier reward. Now you need to gain additional battle pass levels to obtain a sellable coupon of the top reward. Now we have the same mechanic in the operation suffer as well. If you want to put the top reward in your hangar, you need to get 8 stars. But if you want to sell the top reward, you need to have 10 stars. So that means additional effort. Good thing is this will increase the cost of the coupon, maybe a bit. But bad thing is you're putting more hours to the game. And let's say, let's just hope it's not gonna get worse because selling coupons on the marketplace is main income for most of the players. Uh, if you didn't check it, uh, click the right top corner, by the way. If you never use marketplace and stuff. Unfortunately, Leopard 2 AV is a big meh. Just a prototype Leopard 2 A4 with the nerfed cannon. Instead of 120, we have 105. That means less damage. But uh, penetration wise, there is not much of a difference. Around 10 millimeters. And of course, we don't have a thermal vision. And that uh, affects the efficiency of this vehicle as well. Compared to the Leopard 2K, it has worse cannon. It is in the top auto cannon. However, it can survive more shots because uh, there's lots of composite armor inside of the tank. Uh, now, Leopard 2K was not my favorite tank. In fact, the only reason 97 Germany might got a bit interested it's because of the nerfed Radkenfagen 90 jump from 90 to 97. Maybe this is the only reason I may return to it sometime. And of course, another nerf tank, Weasel 1A2. I believe it was 9.0 as well, or maybe 9.3. 9.7 Germany is basically a new lineup of the low BR nerfed tanks, which some people may like. I believe this tank is boring compared to the last top reward pt16 with the four seconds of reloading time and now i have 8.7 reloading time it's basically the same as leopard uh, 2k reloading time uh, but whatever it is maneuverable good reverse speed good turret rotation a bit weak in reloading time it doesn't perform well as i expected uh, neither there is uniqueness about it get the sellable one if you still can and just sell it. Now switching to the F4D1. It is much more unique. There is no any other plane with this shape in the War Thunder. A really impressive turn time. Even though sometimes my wing got torn apart. Uh, with the slightest movement. Plane looks solid. Why does my wings break so easily? Not much of an ammunition. Only 260. So make sure to tap it. We have 4 Sidewinders rocket with 10G of overload. If enemy is dumb and going straight, uh, you can kill him. So it's basically an AFK hunter missiles. And also a quick note for the ground players. By using a default belt, you can reduce the spawn cost. So make sure to select default belt. 130 bullets per cannon. And also for the ground attack, uh, there is 114 mighty mouse loadout with ballistic computer targeting. This plane is much more interesting from the ground reward. That's what I can say. The repair cost of the plane, 20,000. So yeah, this plane might hurt your budget if you're a new player. And it's unique. That's a reason to keep it, I guess. Personally, I don't know. As a collector, I would have kept it, of course. But I can say it, this plane is not OP. The ammunition depletes extremely quickly. So yeah, pretty much a standard fighter. It looks gorgeous, though. Looks like a simplified space shuttle. Leopard is just a regular Leopard A4 with the Radkampfwagen's cannon. And plane is one of the best turn fighters at this BR. Almost feels like a BI with a better loadout. Definitely you're gonna come out as a winner in most of the turn fights, but when you fight against multiple enemies, you're gonna run out really quickly. You'll be out of ammunition after your second or third kill, uh, which is enough for most of the players. Plane is recommended over the tank. That's basically the conclusion. Alright, that was it. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. I'll see you 
in the next one.